My name is Blaine Tamaki, and I am a UW uh, Board of Regents member, and I'm also a graduate of the UW School of Law in 1982. Thank you. This is such a joyous occasion for all of us. We are so happy today to be able to honor our new dean of our law school. Congratulations, Dean Lawson. Before I turn the microphone over to Provost Richards to formally introduce our dean today, I wanted to say just a few words about how excited we are to welcome you to the University of Washington. As many of you know already, Dean Lawson Dean Lawson has been very successful in her stint as a prior law school dean. With regard to student success, inclusiveness, and improving the student experience, Dean Lawson was a two-time professor of the year, beloved by students, and a friend of the faculty. Dean Lawson is personable, warm, and driven to succeed. We are so lucky to have her lead us at the UW School of Law. Provost Richards, join me as uh, we welcome our new dean. Thank you, Regent Tamaki. This is a joyous occasion. It's lovely. To, I've never been in this room before. It's quite opulent. Um, but uh, it's, it's great to be here, to, to see this community, to see, meet new people, see old faces, and so forth. But uh, I will tell you that as provost of this wonderful university, um, one of my responsibilities is overseeing the process of selecting new deans. It's not easy, but I will tell you that right now, at this moment, the University of Washington is a place that people want to come. And we have hired wonderful new deans these past few years, and Tamara Lawson, you are one of them. <clears throat> As the search process proceeded, as search processes proceed, you start to get a feel for the personality of the finalist candidates, the people who the committee thinks are, are the best candidates and so forth. And I will say that with Tamara, when I first met her, I think she was trying us out. <laughs> um, it was kind of a quiet beginning, Tamara, as I recall. And I spoke with you many times in this process. And I think that each time I spoke to you, you got more excited about the University of Washington, more engaged, and that excitement was infectious, I think, with everyone who interacted with you. And since you've been here, it's mushroomed. Your ability to make contacts and, and connect with people and begin to let people find this new vision, this, your vision, a vision for the law school, has been remarkable in such a brief period of time. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you came here very quickly after we offered you the job. <laughs> and you have hit the, hit the road running, and, and it's really fantastic. <clears throat> um, I want to recognize a few people who are here. Uh, uh, Regent Tamaki, Regent Rice. Do I have any other regents today? Yeah. Excuse me, Liz. <laughs> it, Lee is here. Uh, she is our student regent which is wonderful, um, and Regent Zeke had his name on a name tag out there, but I guess we missed him. 
We also have at least two former deans that I've seen. Mario Barnes is here. Mario, it's wonderful to see you again. <clears throat> And our former dean, Wallace Lowe, whom I first met as he was president of the University of Maryland. Uh, Wallace, thank you for coming today. I had heard that Kelly Testy might be here, but I haven't seen her. Is, that, is she not here today? Okay, that's too bad, but uh, she wanted to be here, I'm certain. What's that? Dean, and I'm getting to her. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank uh, the search committee, a uh, number of whose members are here, but in particular, is, is Anand Day here? Did he join us? And then our dean of the School of Information chaired the search committee and did a wonderful job. And then Liz Porter, who walked into an interim deanship on extremely short notice uh, and, and has done a wonderful job of shepherding the school in that time. Is Liz, is she here? Thank you, Liz. Bravo. Bravo. So uh, just uh, Blaine did a, a wonderful job of introducing Dean Lawson. I'll say a few more words. Uh, Tamara uh, came from St. Thomas, where she had a remarkable track record across many areas, teaching, finance, fundraising, student success, and really the, the intellectual enterprise altogether. She is a specialist in criminal law and social justice. Uh, the two do go together, I believe. <laughs> and she's also a member of nearly every national committee, uh, National Bar Association, American Bar Association, and so forth. I won't list them all off, but let's just say that people know her. <laughs> and and, and she, she is a very known uh, entity in, um, in, in the field of law nationally and certainly brings with her a, a, a national footprint in, in terms of her experience and her connections and, and her intellectual breadth and expertise. Um, we can't wait to see what you do here. We hope this is already fun for you. It's been fun watching you get off uh, to such, such a wonderful start. Um, the University of Washington is fortunate to have you. School of Law is fortunate to have you, and I welcome you to the University of Washington. Technicalities of paper. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. It warms my heart to see each and every one of you this evening. So glad we can be together in person. It is my pleasure and honor to welcome you to William H. Gates Hall. And I want to acknowledge and thank some of the people that have already been thanked, but I, I must also recognize them. Um, I want to thank President Anamari Kause, Provost Richards, the Dean Search Committee, all the members, and its chair, Dean Anand Day. I want to thank and acknowledge my predecessors, many of whom are here today, as was mentioned, Deans Porter, Barnes, Testy, Lowe, and Knight, upon whose shoulders I now take the leadership seat of this great institution. I most significantly thank my family. I thank my mother, Barbara Lawson, and my niece. Thank you, Mom, for being here. At the cocktail hour, I'll tell them how you were at my first trial also. She was whispering objection, objection, and almost got kicked out. Of, anyway, you know, I'll tell that later. But I thank you, Mom, for being here. And I also thank my two nieces, Christina and Esther, who are also here with us today. I thank my many mentors, sponsors, 
colleagues and friends from around the country that are not here today, but they will join us in February during Diversity Week. They continue to be a source of support, collaborative knowledge, and inspiration. I thank all of the individuals here that make this law school excellent. I thank the staff. I thank the law faculty. I thank the law students. I thank the distinguished law school graduates who are here and, and as community leaders. I thank you for your support, your warm welcome to the UW, and a welcome to the Pacific Northwest. As I thought about what I would share tonight with this distinguished audience, I promised myself that I would convey to you something about the past, the present, and the future. And I committed that I would let you get to know me a little bit, get to know my personality, my passions, and my pro projections for this amazing law school. My journey to Seattle started at a small cafe in Paris. I was there at the City of Light among friends and leaders from this legal community that began the recruitment process. Doesn't that sound lovely? <laughs> I will share more about that uh, during the cocktail hour. You can hear all the details in the champagne. But in earnest, my journey to this post began decades before when I decided that I wanted to make a larger impact in legal education, not just as a teacher and not just as a scholar, but as a leader. You see, the University of Washington is well known for its transformative leadership, its mentorship, and its training of new leaders and engagement with and development of a pipeline. This work was instrumental in my own personal journey. I attended a training in this very building long, long, long before I was recruited to participate in the national search for this deanship. The training I received at the University of Washington School of Law ignited a fire in me for leadership in higher education. From that day forward, I went to work. I went to work in administration, and I've served on every committee uh, and post you can have in a law school, chairing curriculum, chairing hiring, being various associate deans, being an interim dean, and being a dean. With that fire ignited, I went to work in national think tanks focused on innovation and solutions. I went to work on fundraising, focused on transformative gifts, as well as bringing new partners, focused on, on making positive change. I am still going to work. I'm continuing to stoke that fire that was first ignited here at the UW and continues to grow. As a teacher, you never know what where your students are going to go and how much you're going to impact their trajectory. And as a teacher, I put my all in my courses. I poured into my students. And what was mentioned, I received you know, Professor of the Year awards. And I had the nickname Crim Law Son because, <laughs> because I taught all the Crim Law classes in the core curriculum. As a scholar, you're not, you know, you work on your papers and your footnotes and your research, and you're not sure if anyone's ever going to read that. But just last week, a University of Washington professor from the College of Arts and Sciences came up to me at an event here and asked me, quote, are you the Tamara Lawson from a fresh cut in an old wound? I've been assigning that article to my students as their first reading in the course since 2015. It was reassuring to know that the impact I was seeking with my scholarship on the killing of Trayvon Martin had landed 
and had reached across the nation and across disciplines for the benefit of students and their future work for positive change. However, as a leader and as your leader, I can accomplish more than I can as an individual teacher or scholar. Although my teaching and writing are still important, and I'll continue to do those things, leadership, as your leader, I can be a constant and steady voice to secure the pathways for our institutional objectives and goals, blazing a, tra a trail widely for the whole community to follow. We are stronger together. We will re rebuild our community, and we will recapture and reclaim our momentum. We are starting that process right now, tonight, in this room. In the words of DJ Vanis, the Native American author of The Warrior Spirit, he says, quote, just because we are plugged in does not mean that we are connected, end quote. During the pandemic, we may have been plugged in, but now it's time to get connected. My leadership goal is that we become truly connected with each other and with our students. Tonight is one of many opportunities where I will be able to connect with you and you will be able to reconnect with each other. I am so grateful that we're in person for this event as well as our students being in person for their classes every day in this building. What inspires me directly correlates to the mission of this institution, this great institution, to be the best, to be the best measured by impact. My family always instilled in us to never give up. And consistent with William H. Gates Sr., to always show up and to bring my authentic self and ideas and solutions to make positive change forward. This is what leaders do. And I've been preparing for this position my entire career. That is what drew me to this institution. That is what drew me to the University of Washington, a shared vision a shared vision of values that align with my life's work. And we are connected to the president's vision. Our president, President Anamari Kause, how lucky are we that her initiatives directly align with principles of justice and fairness, which is the cornerstone of law. And her initiatives have law as a pillar in the rule of law initiative, her DEI work, and her initiatives for race and equity. We support her inspiration in this area of leadership as it touches our law school so deeply. But when I think back to that cafe in Paris, I, I remember why Paris is known as the city of light. King Louis XIV insisted that light must exist in more places, in areas of darkness, on every street. He encouraged the people of Paris to install lights and lanterns wherever they could, lanterns on every street. He asked the people to put light in their windows. He restored faith in the people for law and order. Let's think about that for a moment. Light or knowledge in the, in the source of darkness, in the space of darkness or the unknown. That is our mission 
as engaged educators and engaged lawyers to bring light, to bring knowledge, to illuminate when there is darkness. We at UW Law can be the light in every window. We can be the lantern on every street. Similarly, we are at a moment in our democracy where light is needed. Knowledge is needed. Legal experts of this great law school are needed to enlighten and engage in the dialogue. It is my role to shine the light, shine the spotlight on this law school regionally, nationally, and internationally. Shine the spotlight of excellence. Together, we will shine that spotlight of excellence. We will tell our stories more often and widely to a, a bigger and broader audience for our brand strength and to, for its impact. We together, we will highlight our substantive innovations in areas like our Asian Law Center, our Native American Law Center. We will capitalize on our interdisciplinary synergies across the many campuses and across this school, highlighting the strength of the School of Law and the synergies with other schools like we do at our Tech Policy Lab. Together, we will exp expand our resources. We will maximize those resources, but we will also cultivate new and existing partners. Many of you have asked, how can I help, Dean? How can I help you? And I can tell you how you can help. We must commit to support the success of every student. Yes, I said every student. A world-class law school demands a world-class student experience. That means every student has resources they need. One of our first key priorities is to increase our student support, specifically increasing our scholarships to be more competitive and to lessen our graduates' debt load. This will support the efforts to recapture our strength in the rankings, but more importantly and more significantly, will provide robust student support so every student can thrive. You can make an impact. You will receive more information about this in the coming weeks, and I welcome your interest and support in this initiative. This is thrilling. Hashtag less than 60 days in. <laughs> and has, that has been mentioned by um, you know, the regent and, and the provost that I hit the ground running. So I just want to highlight a few of those things. I've met with the state Supreme Court on Bonk. And I also want to welcome and recognize the judiciary that are here tonight. Uh, we have our alumni, uh, Judge Lori Smith and Judge um, Ken Schubert. Um, I want to also acknowledge that I met, I met with the, the Board of Regents, right? And we have our regents here, um, Regent Tamaki, Rice, and Lee. Thank you for your welcome and your continued support. I met with our alumni leadership, and I want to acknowledge and recognize our alumni leaders that are here tonight, Greg, Matt, Lonnie, and Kent, and that you are always here and support us early and often. I met with the Washington Leadership Institute, and I want to recognize the co-director, James Williams from Perkins QE, that is here with us tonight. I met with the Washington State Bar Board of Governors, and I'd like to welcome and recognize my fellow deans that are here, my university fellow leaders, 
and law school colleagues statewide. We have colleagues here tonight from Gonzaga University and Seattle University. I met with our law faculty, executive council, our staff council, our student bar association leaders, and I had key photo ops with dubs at multiple football <laughs> games and at the university gala. Go law dogs. Okay. So in closing, I would just say, not only is this very exciting, but what started off in the city of light continues to illuminate now in my new hometown of Seattle. Today is just the beginning of moments that we will have together to build relationship, a true partnership. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your continued contributions. And I thank you for the warmness of your reception. Thank you. Thank you.